Hello there. It's a nice Sunday afternoon, isn't it? At least it didn't rain. Um, anyway, I've just been out to a place called Burton Constable. This is a stately home uh, just a few miles away from me in uh, in East Hull. Um, in a place called Sprotley. Yeah, it's a funny name, isn't it? Sprotley Village. Uh, anyway, just out on the other side from me is this... Uh, Burton Constable, which is a, like I said, a big stately home. They've got a big uh, uh, lake next to it with a bridge over the lake that goes to a, a campsite, which I've stayed in as well. I stayed at the campsite, uh, although it's only just around the corner from us. It's it's a world apart. It's a completely different part of the world um, than it is where I live here. Uh, anyway, um, there was a food fair on. And they had all sorts of crafts and uh, things, smelly things, and and candles, and and uh, they had a, a gin stall. They had, in fact, they had two gin stalls uh, there, and they also had a place that sold jams and cheeses and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, uh, it was a bit disappointed because I I was expecting a little bit more, but because there wasn't so many stalls, but uh, apparently. On the 13th and 14th of May, there will be another food fair, which is going to be a bigger one. Uh, my Sarah went to that last year, and she had a wonderful time. Anyway, uh, I didn't take any pictures on the inside, apart from I took a picture of uh, a place where I bought some coffee. Um, as you know, uh, I mentioned it once or twice. Uh, I even think I mentioned it on the Adrian Allen show about getting some coffee from uh, Peru. I haven't been to Peru for a long time. Uh, it wasn't a holiday, it was work. And uh, we had a couple of couple of days in port, so I managed to go ashore with some people. And uh, one, of the, one of the things I brought back to the boat was some coffee. And uh, I've been trying to find that coffee again. Um, anyway... I didn't find any. Uh, so hopefully, this coffee that I bought today, I bought a big bag of it. Um, hopefully that will taste as good as the stuff... Oh, I do apologise, a bit tired. I was up early. Um, yeah, I hope it's as good as the stuff I had in Peru itself, the local stuff. Um, yeah. So I'll do a review of that later on, but you'll see a picture of this uh, lady. This, the, the guy selling the coffee says that this woman has to climb so many miles, well, so many feet up this mountainside where she harvests her coffee and um, she only makes a few bags a year and he buys them all from her. So it's um, uh, what they call ethically, ethically sourced. Um, anyway, so she gets a good wage and, uh, of course, we get some good coffee. Hopefully it will be good coffee, because I haven't tried it yet. Uh, so I will do a review. And, and um, I, I, I said I would for the guy in on the stall. I said I had a small YouTube channel, and I might do a little review of his coffee if it was any good. So we'll see. So watch this space for a review of the coffee. Anyway, um, hopefully I won't be going back to sea until after. I think I'll go back to sea on the 17th of May. So we should be able to get to this food and craft fair uh, again. But uh, blimey, the price of admission to Burton Constable now. That you can go to the go into the hall itself, the big big house. You can walk around the big house and have a tour. And you can also, uh, on, on a separate ticket, go around the gardens. But the uh, the ticket to go around the garden has risen to thirteen pounds a person. Now, I'm not, <laughs> that'll be the last time we go round. I mean, it's going to cost £26 for me and Sarah to walk around the garden. Um, but the dog goes free. But no, I don't think we'll be, we'll be doing that anymore. Uh, no. Unless we go to the campsite. We can just walk over the bridge and walk around the garden without anyone knowing that we snuck in. Anyway, um, what else has been happening? The, uh, yes, on my way back, I stopped off at a field of bright yellow flowers you 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 don't know how much that cheers me up seeing a great swathe of yellow going across all the fields uh, as far as the eye can see 
Um, yeah, that really does cheer me up. Bright yellow flowers from the rape, oil seed rape. Um, this is the stuff that you uh, you can cook with, the uh, oil, oil, oil from the seeds. Um, you can cook with, and apparently it's supposed to be... Uh, oh, 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 I do apologise, I was up really early. Um, yeah, apparently um, it has lower cholesterol than olive oil. So we tend to use that we have to we do obviously we cook at home so avoiding all sorts of cooking oils is isn't a thing that we can um we can avoid regularly but we don't use a lot of it we do use a little bit in our cooking so imagine say you we're cooking a um uh you know i don't know what you might call it um a curry or something like that one might use a bit of uh rapeseed oil uh, to uh to fry off the vegetables or the meat or whatever it is but it's not a lot it's only a tablespoon for four of us so it's you know a quarter of a tablespoon uh that goes into the into the meal um and uh we sometimes to to stop when we we're using frying up stuff with butter in um we might just put a little bit of of, of this rapeseed oil in to stop the butter from burning um but then again well since I've been home the last two weeks, I haven't actually cooked anything in butter, so that's a that's a plus sign. Yeah. Anyway, I'm <laughs> digressing slightly. Yeah. So um, I, was, I took some pictures of the oil seed rape, and uh, got some close-up photographs, and uh, I also found the Burton Constable Police Station as well, uh, as uh, our friend A B, not Alex Belfield, but. Uh, audit in Britain he would say police station in his uh, accent that he has <clears throat> and uh, one of the other things that I've seen today was uh, an auditor he's not really an auditor he was more like a let's say a surveyor he would go around to these industrial sites and have a look at them he would survey the the site and the surroundings and, and take aerial footage anyway he got um, assaulted by uh, this international pipe bending company up in Newcastle and uh, anyway uh, some other YouTubers went along to have a look at this place just to see why he was assaulted anyway these um this international pipe benders have actually doxed one of the YouTubers he's actually put his photo of him of him his wife and he's and he's put his workplace down and he's given his address out um, why would you do that why would you why would you dock someone knowing full well that it falls under GDPR and uh, expect to get away with it anyway I, I expect that company will be getting a massive fine for breaching data protection anyway that's uh, that's what I've been doing anyway I've been watching watching a few YouTube videos um, yeah um, Sarah's gone off she went to Meadow Hall today us in Leeds a few miles away from us um, she went to uh, Meadow Hall today with some friends um, uh, I don't know who exactly it was she went with I'll find out when she comes back but it'll be it'll be friends of hers and, and her stepdaughter or my stepdaughter her daughter um, yeah so they went to Meadow Hall uh, so they're on the way back and uh, yeah so that'll be, that'll be it we, I don't know what we're having uh, food tonight but I might start getting some potatoes out and uh, doing that before she gets in yeah so what else is happening on on a bank holiday weekend on a Sunday what have you guys been up to yeah I'd like to <laughs> like to hear what you've got to say in the uh, in the comments and of course tomorrow is another bank holiday uh, one of the few that I get off is a is a is the May bank holiday I don't often get a May may off but so the, yeah i'm going to enjoy that tomorrow extra day off sarah will be at work i expect so i won't be able to do much there um yeah so let us know what you're going to be up to I'll, i might um i might take the camera if it's a nice day if the sun's out i might take the camera out specifically to get some more ducks um i might go down to leaving leaven and uh, get some pictures of the canal bank there and uh, see what see what i can do Anyway, I've um, rambled on for a, a good ten minutes now, taking up uh, all your valuable time on a on a what is 
a quite a pleasant Sunday afternoon in April, at the end of April. It's uh, like you say, it's May Day tomorrow. And of course, next weekend, we've got the coronation, haven't we? On the 6th of May, we're going to see a coronation. This would be a once in a lifetime opportunity, I, I would imagine. I can't imagine um, seeing it. We might get to see William take, um, take over if Charles steps down. Um, I'm not a royalist. I don't. I mean, I used to respect our Queen. Uh, I, she was a very hard-working lady, and uh, she never took a day off. Um, although she, she lived in a lap of luxury, but she was always working. Um, very hard-working lady. Um, Charles, I'm not so keen about, but he is my king. He will be my king. He will be crowned next week, on the sixth. He will be crowned king of England. And there's nothing we can do about it. It's not like it, this is a democracy. Uh, I can't turn around and say, like some people are being saying, he's not my king. Well, you ain't got a choice in it, mate. You are citizens of the United Kingdom. And therefore, Prince, well, not Prince, King Charles is your king. End of. You don't have to like it. Um, you don't have to bend a knee for him either. Not these days. But he is your king and that's the end of it. Um, as for the other other two clowns, the ones that have gone off to America, their privacy tour, as uh, we've all seen in South Park. Wasn't that funny? <laughs> South Park. I absolutely wet myself laughing. That it was so, without actually t saying who they were, we knew who they were. Uh, and uh, they did a brilliant job. Really did uh, uh, go to town on uh, that uh, pound shop Diana as uh, as she likes to be referred as no she doesn't um, anyway that's beside the point uh, yeah I, I think um, being told by a, a member of the royal family that we're all racist because we're British and we're racist is I find it absolutely appalling it was uh, 2015 that a British taxpayer finished paying for the the debt that was incurred in freeing the slaves worldwide. So to call the British people racist is absolutely appalling. And uh, she had no evidence of that whatsoever. Uh, in fact, I, I thought that she was, uh, at the beginning, on the early days, I thought she looked quite pretty and I, I didn't even question whether she was coloured or not, or black or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I, I never questioned it. Um, and it was, I think it was her that brought it up all the time, drove it into us, really. Um, and, of course, she's driven the public against her now. And uh, I don't think she's coming, is she? I don't, I haven't really read much of stuff on the newspapers, but I don't think she's coming over for the coronation. I don't think she's been invited, personally. Um, I know, no, no doubt um, Harry, or was it Henry? Harry, Harry Hewitt will be coming over to see his um, step dad uh, the king yeah uh, anyway so yeah we've got lot, that to look for so my Sarah absolutely loves all that pomp and ceremony about the royal family so um, hopefully she'll be able to get to see some of it on uh, she'll be at work so she's downstairs in the care home and uh, she'll have the control of the television and she'll be making sure that it's on so she'll get to see it on uh, when she's at work it's a bit of a shame that she can't be home. Uh, anyway, so that's it. Now I've wasted more of your time. I, I do apologise for taking up so much of your time, but uh, I do appreciate you watching. And uh, you can always hit the like button. Um, and you can hit the subscribe button as well if you really like. Uh, it all helps with the algorithm. You know, I get, um, you know, 88% 80, of my viewers are not followers, which I find quite funny. So there's only 12% of the people that watch my videos are actually followers. Uh, so if you don't subscribe, then you won't catch the next one, which you might find more, more exciting than this one. Anyway, that's enough for me today. So I'm going to say cheerio and catch you all on the next one. Bye then. Bye bye.